Well, so much for a streak of good weather. A little dusting of snow last night. And somebody has one week left of school mm. before March break. And then we get to have them at the shop for a week. Good day guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're starting off our vlog by returning my GoPro Hero 6 back to GoPro. The problem I was having with it was it was it started off with every once in a while it would automatically reset itself so that I had to go through the little menu and set the time and date all over again. You know, take you you know 30, 45 seconds to do that, and it was getting annoying, especially if I went outside when it was cold out to do a, a video or something like that, then you had to stop and do all that and punch it back in. So I'm going off to uh, the FedEx delivery place and we're gonna get this thing sent out. Hopefully it's a quick turnaround and I will have to resort to other devices to record my vlogs. But so far, I love the GoPro. I was just frustrated with having to uh, deal with that reset all the time. And eventually it just came that it was almost every time I was using it, um, I would press the record button and it would flash and it would want you to go through the whole setup. So that's what we're doing right now. Get that sent off and we'll keep you updated. Well, I'll tell you what, I do love these mild days because every day is mild. It's another day that we can come back and attempt to look for the keys for this Kia Soul behind me, thinking they might reappear out of a snowbank somewhere, but so far, no such luck. But at this rate, the snow should be gone very soon. fine pre-spring day and we've got a little special for you coming up uh, this evening my wife's van has to have an oil change so it's a very special oil change and it's got a special ingredient that has kept it going for 600,000 kilometers and we're going to show you just what we use and another one bites the dust Right there. I'll get, give this thing a bath and get it over for the uh, final installation of all the interior. Is that the deal? Yeah. The mirrors are on. On camera, you'd never know they were a different color. back windows in what's the what's the deal with those well, they couldn't put them in so you get that back piece made all right and they couldn't make that till i decided what to come do with it. armrest and stuff there so now they can finish that right up put the windows in i'm good you know you could say you've only got two more pieces to paint but they're probably the two most difficult is the amount of body work that's got to go into them? Well, at the 
end of a busy day. We managed to get two vehicles out today, which is great, seeing how February has been an extremely slow month. And uh, so pretty excited to get that done. I'm just gonna head home now, grab a bite to eat, and then I'm gonna bring my wife's van back out to the shop so that we can do the uh, special oil change. And so we'll film everything so you can see what's going on with that. And uh, you're not gonna wanna miss it, so stay tuned. So, I told you that I was going to do an oil change on my wife's van. Here it is. So, one of the things that we are very excited about is that in the last episode, you saw that we reached 600,000 kilometers on this van. One of the secrets to getting this van to last that long is regular oil changes. Well, here in Canada, we've got a special ingredient. And I'll tell you about it in just a second. But first, we've got to drain the old special ingredient out of the van. All right, so we're gonna take the drain plug off here. And we'll let her pour out of there. She's good and hot. Boys, I can smell her already. That smell button. So while we wait for that to drain out, I guess it's time that we should tell you what the secret ingredient is. Up here in Canada, the secret ingredient to making a vehicle last 600,000 kilometers is maple syrup. I just happen to have some. This is PC brand maple syrup, 100% pure. So good, I think I might even take a drink. Uh oh, you hear that? I think I hear a Canadian accent coming out, boys. I need to get myself a knife in here. Oh, yeah. We got the plastic uh, protection on there. I think we better test this stuff out first, make sure she's good, good and ripe. Mmm, truly Canadian, eh? So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna reach up there, eh, and uh, grab a hold of that, uh, that used maple syrup filter up there. We're gonna spin that puppy right off there, eh? All right, so spin that off. The old maple syrup pour right out of her. All right, so follow me over to the maple syrup filter cabinet. The special ones are in blue. So you know how we know that they are special maple syrup filters? Because it says so right on the filter, eh? So we're going to add a little bit of this right into the filter. We don't want it starting up dry on maple syrup. Now we're going to spin our maple syrup filter up on the engine. It's okay if we lose a little bit. We'll just put it on our French toast later. So you see this big red tank here, eh? This is where we store all the old maple syrup. We send that stuff right up to Quebec. Just like on my son's truck, we send it right up to Quebec. They make some really good stuff up there. So now we're going to set her down and fill her up. Excuse me. All right, we're ready to fill her up.
There we go, one down and four more to go. All right, that should do her. Good to the last drop. And there you have it, cat's out of the bag. And that, my friends, is how you get 600,000 kilometers on a vehicle in Canada with maple syrup. So guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please give it a big thumbs up. If you uh, want to see more videos, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>